Trudy Davis is not only the reigning Mrs. Georgia for the year 2013, she is here today to tell her story of how she maintained self-esteem throughout her battle with breast cancer. You'll meet Trudy Davis today here on Babby's House. It's all coming up right now. Hello and welcome to Babby's House. I'm so glad that you're joining me for today's show. It means so much to me knowing that you're tuning in. And today is going to be a great show, a real source of encouragement for you today. And if you've got a wife or a mother or a daughter who you really want to encourage, get them right in front of the TV set right now because Trudy Davis has a powerful story and a powerful message for every woman regardless of her age. She is on a mission to empower women and instill in us self-esteem and remind us that God loves us and he loves us loves us just as much as he loves his son. You're going to meet Trudy Davis in just a moment. She's the reigning Mrs. Georgia, so she's a beauty queen. And not only that, she is a woman with a great story and a great victory story at that. You're going to meet Trudy Davis in just a moment. But right now, I want to sing a brand new song from my current project called This I Know For Sure. And this song is entitled Faith. You can put your praise on, put your hands together, and worship God with me.
From the earliest age, children follow your lead. They watch everything you do and every move you make. This includes your choices about what you eat and your choices about health and exercise. So take the lead. If you make healthy choices, your children will too. It's up to all of us to lead our youth to a healthy future. For a parent and caregiver checklist for raising a healthy child, visit SurgeonGeneral.gov. You know, recently a woman wrote me to say nobody cares what happens to her money. Well, that's just not true. For 75 years, the FDIC has protected the money you deposit in banks. Those depositors have never lost one penny in the history of the FDIC. So here's the bottom line. You just can't put your money in the bank and not know how FDIC insurance works. You have got to make sure your money is 100% protected. So I want you to go to myfdicinsurance.gov and click on Edie the Estimator. In just a few simple steps, Edie lets you know if all your money is safe and sound. If I were you, I would want to know that. Who cares more about your money than you, me, and the FDIC? Susie's right. Visit myfdicinsurance.gov and use Edie the Estimator. Because the more you know, the safer your money. In the fight against cancer, doctors need the most powerful weapons possible. And today, doctors are talking about what might be the most important weapon of all, the food we eat. How's your veggie burger? Great, how's your salad? Looks super. Fruits, vegetables, and high-fiber vegetarian foods can help prevent cancer and other health risks. Visit cancerproject.org or call 866-906-WELL for a free booklet to find out more. Welcome back to Babby's House. I'm honored to have on today's show Miss, Mrs., Mrs. Georgia, and that is Trudy Davis, and she is the reigning Mrs. Georgia for the year 2013. And she is on a mission to help women who are fighting breast cancer, and she is also a breast cancer survivor. And before we talk to her, I want to just give you some, some stats on breast cancer concerning women with breast cancer. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. 40,000 women died from breast cancer in the year 2010. 600 newly diagnosed cases per day are, di women are diagnosed every day in the United States. Every 13 minutes, a woman loses her life to breast cancer. And over 250,000 women under the age of 40 are living with breast cancer in the United States, and there are to almost 3 million, 2.9 million breast cancer survivors in the U.S. And one of those survivors, a woman who is a real fighter, is with us today. Her name is Trudy Davis. Welcome to, to Babby's house, my friend. And Babby. And so happy to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you. It's my honor to be here with the iconic Babby Mason. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm just showing up. <laughs> I'm showing up to, to display you in this beautiful oh. crown, girlfriend. This is stunning. I think Thank this you. is this might be my first time ever holding an actual crown of a beauty queen. And you know, you gotta understand that you know on on that Saturday night, you know, when here she comes, Miss mm -hmm. America, and all those wonderful pageants. And you are not only a beauty queen on the outside, but you are a queen on the inside. And you're reminding women every day that we are queens. We're we're beautiful. 
beautiful, we're somebody special, yeah. and you are a fighter. And tell us a little bit about your, your story and about your, your reign as Mrs. Mm -hmm. Georgia. I mean, come on, somebody. Yeah. So talk to me about that. Well, it's all been very exciting, Babby. You know, it starts, though, in kind of a dark place when I was mm -hmm. diagnosed in uh, 2008 with stage 3 breast cancer. Now, wow. you know, stage 3, as you know, there's there are four stages, and stage 4 is considered, I guess, terminal. So stage 3 breast cancer, I was a single mom. Mm -hmm. um, full financial support of my children at the time and you know felt like that was I never wanted to be divorced but circumstances led and I was so I felt like you know that was kind of my bad thing well two years into that then diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer and mm -hmm. just thinking you know all the while being a believer and loving the Lord but just thinking you know what can what is going on here and you know quite honestly definitely having a faith crisis at the time you know yes. when it just one bad thing after another yes. but so I like to paint that dark picture and so that people then can see me sitting here now, five-year survivor, praise God, this praise February. Praise God. It, yes, yes. Amen. Then, praise the Lord. I, thank amen. you. Amen. Thank, thank you, Lord. And, uh, you know, I've been through it all. I've had mastectomy. I had chemotherapy. I had radiation, you know, lost my hair, my eyebrows, my eyelashes, all that. So, um, you know, I, again, I say that's how low and dark sometimes life can be. But then through God's mercy, I say his true mercy, yes. I came out on the other side. And when I did, I came out fighting, just saying, I want to use that experience to help any woman within the sound of my voice yes. get encouragement because, you know, when you don't have hope, Babby, you know, it's hard to even get out of bed in the morning. Yes. So as a result, what I did is I put together what's called the Fight Like a Girl campaign. Yes. And it incorporates what I call helmets, ammunition, and rations. And the helmets, I think it's the most important thing, just like in any battle, or is um, a helmet. And it's the positive affirmations and scriptures that help you look at your situation differently. When the doctors are saying it's bad, 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 you can say, but God's word says this. In Jeremiah, it's, there's a verse that says, I'll restore restore your health and heal you of your wounds. Now, you know, what What more can you say? Well, yes. you just quote that over and over. Great promise from the great Word of God. Great promise, exactly. And so then the um, the ammunition is uh, because I have an image consulting business and um, I've been involved in pageants and with women so long, uh, it actually just kind of fell into place that I'm now like an expert that helps women with um, wigs and, you know, wearing false eyelashes and all the things that you need. I call it the ammunition to get you through to the other side. Yeah. Yes. prosthetics, you know, just the reality of That's what right. you are going through. That's you know, right. there's no way to sugarcoat and helping it. helping you to, to feel better, right. to right. feel better about who you are, even yeah. though you're in the midst of the yeah. fight of your life. Right. Because, see, you lose yourself in that battle, or you can lose yourself, mm -hmm. and you, you feel like, you know, you're this warrior, but you're just really, you know, f losing yourself. And so these few things help you remember and maintain who you are and then get a leg up. And then lastly is the rations. And that really for every woman. Um, vitamin D, rations stand for like the, vi uh, the vitamin supplements and the dietary supplements, but every woman should know to take vitamin D and calcium. Oncologists across the board agree that that's something that's missing a lot of times in women that are diagnosed with breast cancer. So just giving those those um, ability for the woman to take control again, because let me tell you, you feel like life is completely out of your control. And when you start finding these small ways that you can take control again, then you become more the captain of your own ship and the, the disease doesn't hold you in bondage like the fear of yes. it can. You know what I hear in your voice, Trudy? I hear not only a woman who is saying, you know, I'm a fighter, mm -hmm. but I hear a woman who is saying, this is war. Oh, it <laughs> I is. am taking yeah. this and I am in the fight of my mm -hmm. life and I am helping other women yeah. who are in the fight of their life stand and stand strong on not only what she knows, mm -hmm. but what she uh, believes. Right. And can right. you can you just fortify that woman and who, I can guarantee you that there's somebody today who is watching who mm -hmm. either is, who is fighting breast cancer mm -hmm. or she has a woman in 
her life yes. who is fighting breast cancer. I mean, with stats like that, mm -hmm. the, the mm -hmm. impact of breast cancer right. is everywhere. Right. Can you help that woman who is watching the show mm -hmm. today um, rally that fight that is within her? All right. Well, I, that's what I feel like I, I stand for, and that's my greatest passion in life is to do that. And again, it just really goes back to those basic things that I was able to put in that little condensed, almost, you know, if you want to call it comical, helmets, ration, ammunition. But well, it's a great way that we can be, uh, remember visual. these things. Yes, yes, right. And and so, so Babby, I tell the the first thing I tell women is, don't believe that you are a statistic and. Don't go on the internet and read, you know, everything mm -hmm. about your disease because you're not even on the internet a lot of times. It's not even factual. It's just someone's blog or whatever they think. So, you know, the first thing I say is protect yourself, protect, protect your mind. And then instead of all those things that are going to come flooding into your mind, the fear and the doubt and the what the doctor said and da, 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 start with more affirmations of positive things. I'm not a statistic. God's word says, you know, I'm a survivor. I'm more than a conqueror. And so what I have is the healing verses and I, I love to share those and anyone can contact me um, at my website and even just Googling my name, it will come up. Can and you I, share one of those healing verses yeah, with us right well, now? Well, like I was saying, the one in Jeremiah that just really sticks out in my mind is when you're in the midst of that and God says, I'll heal your disease. I'll cure your diseases and heal you of your wounds. I mean, for me, that was huge. And and um, let's see, I'm trying to think of some. Well, of you my... know, one that comes to my mind right now is Isaiah 61. Yes. And it remind and it yes. tells us that the spirit of the Lord is upon us mm -hmm. because He has called us to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. He has called us to to bring healing mm -hmm. to the nations, to clothe the naked, to feed the hungry, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Yeah. And, and the beauty for ashes. Yeah. Oh, in that powerful. Yes. 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 And it it's even speaks to a crown in, in that um, chapter as well. And also uh, Joshua 1, 9, you know, have I not commanded you to be strong yeah, and courageous? And I tell you, walking through the hospital time and time again for chemo or radiation or whatever the case would be, I would just, you know, have to hear that, those words. And, and when I would sit in the waiting room for the oncologist's appointments, I would have my verses on a card. And that's mm. what prompted me to, to put them Really remind yourself yes, and of the truth of them, God's word. Exactly, Babby. And so that's what prompted me to put them into a, a condensed form for other women. So now does this come in a kit? I mean, is this something um, that we can it's tangibly? Tangible. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes. Talk absolutely. me about that. Well, again, it's it's a kit and so it's in pink camouflage, you know, to go along oh. with the um fight like a girl. It has a wristband in it that actually has a, a scripture on it that be strong and courageous with my contact information because I'm that accessible to women. And then um, it also taught, has tear out verses that you can take with you to the oncologist. And it, then it um, outlines the, vi the vitamin supplements and the dietary supplements and gives you information about cosmetic advice for what you're about to go through. So not only does this kit help you with your, your outward appearance, mm -hmm. but that inside strength to, yes. to withstand yes. the tough times of life. We're going to talk more about that mm -hmm. with Mrs. Georgia and with Trudy Davis. When we come back after this break, we're going to talk more about this beautiful crown and what that means to Trudy Davis, the reigning Mrs. Georgia. We'll be right back after this break. Stay with me.
If you have diabetes, here are a few things to keep in mind. Know the name of your medicine, how much you should take and when, and how it can affect the other medicines you're taking, including your birth control. Ask your doctor to explain any side effects like headache, upset stomach, weight gain, or dizziness. Work with your doctor, nurse, or pharmacist to make a plan to use your medicine safely. For more information on diabetes medicines, go to fda.gov slash women's diabetes. So, do you have any questions? What is your soup of the day? Uh, we have a mulligatawny soup. Oh, do you have any specials? We have a steak special today. Oh, how is that cooked? That's pan seared and then... Baked. Does it come with a side dish? Is it grilled? Can I have it steamed? So, what do you recommend? What kind of pie do you have? You an actor. Aren't you from Ohio? Any questions? Ask questions. For the 10 questions everyone should know, go to ahrq.gov. Welcome back to Babby's House. I'm talking today with Trudy Davis, and she is the reigning Mrs. Georgia International 2013, and she is a beauty queen, and she brought her crown with us, and we're gonna, to, with her, and we're going to talk about that in just a moment. But I want to tell you some of the things that Trudy Davis is involved in. She has been involved in the Pink Ribbon Story Foundation, the Power of Pink Survivors Fashion Show and Fundraiser, the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure, and Pink Hills Foundation Fashion Show, and so many other things. She takes her story on the road and speaks and tells her story from the platform in so many uh, different um, conferences and conventions. And I want you to talk with us, um, Trudy, about your crown. Mm -hmm. You are the reigning Mrs. Georgia. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And you are on a mission yes. to help women, mm -hmm. to rally women, mm -hmm. to strengthen women from the inside out. Right. And this beautiful crown is more than just a, a pretty... A uh, crown to place on your head, but mm -hmm. it's significant to you. Can you tell us why? Definitely. Baby, to me, the crown represents God's, I guess, covenant with me. And not to say that, um, you know, I'm anything special or anything, but I just know that when I was felt so alone, when I was going through breast cancer, I would have never thought that on the other side, I would not only be given a voice, but actually, a, you know, a platform to speak from that would be so much bigger than I am. Yes. So that's what I think the crown represents is it's not, I don't even see it so much as being about me, but being about that God has said, okay, you know, I was faithful to you. Now go and tell anyone who will listen. And that, yes. that's what I do really every day. It's just such a joy for me to give hope to women that I know how they feel yes. and I know how hopeless they feel. And you know, it's like anything, unless you've been through it, it's very difficult to truly understand. So I feel very privileged to have the opportunity when, like you say, the statistics are so overwhelming that I know um, that this happened to me for a reason and I'm determined to use every minute that I have, you know, my second chance to make a difference in the lives of, of every woman I can. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. I, I heard what you just said, Trudy, that we know that cancer and sickness and disease is not from God. No. Sickness and disease is not from God. Right. But somehow, I don't know how he does it, Trudy, but somehow God allows the, the things that happen to us and the things that we go through. Mm -hmm. As believers, he allow, in, in his economy, he allows it to work for us mm -hmm. and not against us. Yes. He yeah. can use it. And to allow and allow it to work together for good, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that it might bring glory to His name yes. and encouragement to somebody else. Do you agree yes. with that? I agree 100%. And I think the other side of that coin, Babby, is, is that you have to be willing and you have to look for the miracle because I think you could look at my life and say, you know, some of it has not been that great, you know, and could seem almost like easily to be discouraged. But I was so determined to say, no, you know, God's word says this, God's word says this, and I, I've got to believe that. And I've got to walk in it even when I don't see it. Yes, you know? and even when you don't feel like right? it. Right, like your song that you just sang. I, I so resonated with your song. 
that it's the faith. And I, that's what God puts the responsibility on us. Yes. And I'm not saying it's easy and I'm not saying in any way that, you know, I have it all together or anything like that. But I know what I've been through and I know how God has used it. And I feel like that the principles that I talk about, it's not just for breast cancer survivors. It's for anyone because the valleys in life are going to come. And if you're not fortified, if you don't have some ammunition, if you don't have a survival plan, it can just mm. take the wind right right out of your cells and knock you off your feet. And uh, so I think that's the big picture that I stand for. And I think that's the big picture of the crown is yes. like, you know, Satan really tried to have his way with me. Time